What's happening, sir? What's happening, sir? Yeah, chilling, chilling, man. We're good, we're good. Appreciate you, man. Appreciate you coming out to talk to your boy, Tony Red on the Red Room. What's going on, folks? <laughs> this is uh, your main man, Tony Red, OK for the Upper Public Soldier Radio. Uh, you know what we had, Jacksonville, Florida, Duval all day. I'm here with my man, Mecca the Marvelous, man. <laughs> Upcoming artist, man, really doing this thing. Uh, he's on the Red Room to go through these 10 questions. We're going to let him give you all the uh, specifics afterward. You know how we kick it. So, matter of fact, also, we got sponsors for this here show. This is the first time we have sponsors. We got Doja Toast Radio. We got Indulge Southern Bistro. We got That Lemonade Cafe. We got Uncle Gene's Soul Food on Temaquana Road. So, make sure you tap in with them people. Number one question <laughs> Are you ready? Yeah, don't as ready as I am. Why did you decide to become an artist? Uh, music was like therapy for me, you know what I mean? Like, going, growing up, you know, there's a lot of things that was going on around me inside the house, and I had to find a way to kind of let everything out instead of fighting it. So, fact, you know what I mean? So that's just how, it just, it just grew as the years went on. So. Fact, fact, that, 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 I think that's that light skin stuff, like, <laughs> kind of share that, you feel what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> Number two. Mm -hmm. Who were your go-to artists growing up as a kid? Ah, uh, man. Uh, probably Lupe Fiasco, man. I ain't gonna lie to you. Pick, push, push kick. Yeah, push, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, okay. Lupe, I can see that. I can see that now that you say that. Fair, fair. Number three. Is your paperwork completely legit? You're talking about like BMI, ASCAP, SoundScan, SoundQuest, all that copyright.gov. Good. One more time, say again. <laughs> BMI slash ASCAP, SoundScan, Sound, uh, what's it called? Sound. All Sound that type of stuff. stuff. Copyright number two. My God, I already knew that anyway. But number four, what are your goals in the next five years as far as you? Oh uh, man, next five years, um, I still want to draw music, you know what I mean? Like, music's my passion. Like, I kind of want to be in a position five years from now to kind of, you know, move around, like maybe do some a &R work, you know, I already do art development. Okay. Right there for some artists, so moving more so in that direction. Five. Right. Five. Okay, number five. If you're in a deal, are you happy with that deal? Depends on the terms of the contract, baby. <laughs> you know how it is. Well, I'm talking about right at this moment. Right now. Are you a current a free agent? Or you sign oh, free agent. Free agent. Y'all hear that? Man, free agent. Nah, Come man. with the good shit. None of that whammy. You know what I'm saying? Have to kill, man. Number six. What local DJs on the radio play your music? Um, WJCT. DJ name. Oh man, I can't even tell you the DJ name. I just know um they had Jamie Jack's mag. They had uh, put uh, my song 3 a.m. in Linwood uh -huh. on a WJCC. I can't really he, tell you the name. But. He gonna get back to me later with that DJ's name. So we asking that that question so we can relate it to other artists. So who's playing local music? You know, it's not just a pass to here and then they gonna play you. You gotta, you know, build the relationship, create a, a foundation so you can work for. But we're trying to get the names of these artists. You are like the second person <laughs> out of these interviews who actually came up with somebody. Everybody else, nobody. All right. Number seven. Give me a story of a time when someone took or tried to take advantage of you in the music business. Man, you trying to put up a can of words out here. Yeah, baby. yeah. <laughs> uh, that's what we doing. Um, Think of one before that's not going to get me in trouble. Um, and then, uh, PR, number of PR questions. So you don't get in trouble. <laughs> I'll give you one. Uh, it was this one cat, uh, in Atlanta actually. I think he might have managed, uh, how oh, is that? Local. Local. Ooh. Hey, local. Uh, 
Yeah. If it is, you nothing local, bro. You can tell you a lot of stuff. I've been, I've been here for a minute, man. Mm -hmm. so, <laughs> I mean, cause, so I'm, I, I record, I'm a studio engineer, so mm -hmm. it's been to like a couple people who just try to slick talk their way into some shit. Mm -hmm. You feel me? So I guess that would be like the closest thing, bro. Yeah. As long as you're paying people, you can't really take it down. Nobody ever said, come do this show, and it's gonna be this amount of money, and then it wasn't no show. None of that type of stuff. Man, listen, yeah. man, I don't, I don't even partake in no type of thing. <laughs> I don't pay to perform, so. I, man, I brought my own show before I if, it, if it's not more than 100 per crowd, 150 per crowd, I'm not gonna pay to perform. Because out of that crowd of 150, you're probably only going to get the network with like 15 of them. And see, that's my limit of, how many people I would give a show to. If it ain't more than 15 people, I'm not doing it. So, that's, that's how I do my number. Okay, let me see. Number eight. Are you living the life you portray in your music? If not, explain. Am I, you say am I living the life I portray in my music? Uh-huh. It's a trick question. I say yeah. Okay. Because of my music, I know it's either I'm talking about things I'm going through or things that, I, that I'm you know, manifesting, you know, the word of the power. Yeah. Yeah. I mean? So if I'm saying these things I already believe it, they already yeah. have happened, I've got them to see it. You know what I mean? That's a good answer. I haven't heard that one yet. That's a good answer. That's a great answer on the rare one. Number nine, what have you done in your community lately or ever as far as uh, giving back type type of. Um, I mean, I kind of keep it to the music, but I mentor a lot of artists, mm -hmm. you know, a lot of people with ideas, like giving people studio time, you know, help build some artists up, you okay. know what I mean? Okay. I'm always in out in the community, out and about connecting to any and everyone that's giving them. Now we're giving them game, game. Out here, you know what I mean? The game it's, it's is the number one out. thing you can give somebody, it's game, you know what I mean? So, stuff like that. Number 10, last question before we get to the bonus question. Okay. Is your soul for sale? No, no. Say it again? Hell no. Nah. All right. Uh -huh. uh, I might have to, uh, we might have to put the microphones on if this one ain't sounding up to where it's supposed to be. But I got some little clip microphones. Mm -hmm. I got you. That's it. You say, hell no, nah, y'all. It ain't for sale. No, no, no. So don't ask them. You know what I'm saying, what's a man's worth? What, what's a man's, uh, what's, it, what's the Bible first? Uh, what's a man's worth if he has the world but losing his soul? Okay. Oh, what do you feel is holding you back from becoming the star you see in here? Myself. How? In what way? The only, I can't, you can't blame anyone for any position you're in because you said. So if I'm not in a position that I want to be in at the moment, it's because I'm not doing enough on my end to, to get myself in these places. I mean, whether I'm going out more, whether I'm going out to different cities, doing more shows, going more, going more music out, you know, being more smart with how I invest my money into myself, mm -hmm. all that's on me. I can't blame anyone for my own position except myself. Okay. Right, you got the camera, bro. Tell them what you got working next, uh, where they can reach you at, uh, what's your next project, who you represent, your crew, whatever you want to say. Right, say, man, it's back in the Marvel, you know, one eighth day crew, you know what I mean? Uh, I just dropped a project in July called Naraka, you know what I mean? I got a video off of that. I'm working on the EP right now called Jane Doe. We're finishing that up in a little bit. Um, getting merch on the table. You know, Day Crew, we have merch out as well. So we're going to just continue to knock our heads off, man. Megan Marvel is on Instagram. You're going to be connected with me over there, bro. So. You heard him. Okay. 